Comment on Dryden's Mac Fleckno as a supreme example of a personal satire. Marks, 12-15 Answer It was John Dryden, who along with Alexander Pope, dominated the literary scene of neoclassical period through their pungent satires. Dryden's Mac Fleckno is often categorized among the finest satires in world literature. It is the product of a prolonged literary and personal rivalry with Thomas Shadwell, a minor dramatist of that period. Dryden's contempt for Shadwell drips from every word he uses. Dryden uses a plethora of allusions, parodies and quotations to lampoon the great hero of the poem. Shadwell is presented as the world's dullest poet ever. He is chosen as the most suitable heir to the crown of dullness which its earlier master is ready to vacate. Dryden imagines a bizarre coronation ceremony in which Richard Flecknoe, an existing monarch of all the realms of nonsense, hands over his throne to Shadwell. The poem describes the succession of the monarchy in a tone akin to an epic masterpiece. Instead of the eulogy and admiration we would expect of an Odysseus-like hero, the father proclaims about his son's succession as, Should only rule, who most resembles me. Shadwell alone my perfect image bears. Mature in dullness from his tender years, Shadwell alone, of all my sons, is he who stands confirmed in full stupidity. In these lines, the combination of the word mature with dullness produces a humorous effect. The reader expects the hero who succeeds to a crown to be endowed with quality of perfection and maturity, especially in the context of an epic poem. But within the context of Mac Fleckno, dullness and stupidity take on the eligibility of a king. Shadwell's father says that the other dunces have sometimes demonstrated signs of sense, but Shadwell has never deviated into sense. The rest to some faint meaning make pretense, but Shadwell never deviates into sense. Dryden again uses a striking imagery of an oak, saying that as the oak tree hides the rays of the sun, Shadwell too does not allow enlightenment of mind to reach his kingdom. According to Dryden, Haywood and Shirley too did not communicate any real sense with their words. But Shadwell has surpassed them all in the field of dullness and nonsense. This proficiency has earned Shadwell the title of the last great prophet of tautology. Another pungent attack on Shadwell is seen through a mock heroic example where Fleckno says that just as St. John came to earth in order to pave the path for Jesus Christ, he was also sent before Shadwell to pave the path for him, as Shadwell is destined to be the final epitome of dullness. Dryden further satirizes Shadwell's musical pretenses by comparing Shadwell's voice to cacophony. Following the personal satire tradition, Dryden also laughs at Shadwell's corpulence, mountainous belly and addiction to opium. The coronation, which is presented in an extremely absurd and ridiculous manner, gives a peculiar touch and distinction to this popular satire. During the coronation, Floors of London have been covered with the worthless works of ordinary poets, instead of red carpets. The coronation takes place in Barbican, a place in London notorious for its low and vulgar life. There was a cloud of ignorance surrounding Shadwell instead of royal glory. In this satire, Dryden makes fun of Shadwell's alcoholic and sexual propensities as well. By calling the works of Shadwell abortive, Dryden tries to imply that Shadwell has the features of a woman. Commenting on Shadwell's verses, Dryden insults that they are repetitive, dry, and capable of inducing sleep. His tragedies make people laugh and his comedies put them to sleep. In the final stanza, we can fathom Dryden's extreme rancor for Shadwell when Dryden advises Shadwell to go to a far-off land where he would have the freedom to express his talent by torturing one word in multiple ways. Thus, Dryden's personal grudge against Shadwell gets a bold expression in every single line of the poem. Shadwell's physical appearance, intellectual ability, musical talents, aptitude for poetry and drama, 
addiction to alcohol, all these aspects of Dryden are satirized with mordant mockery. Finished. Please share this channel to help any student pursue a degree in English literature. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe.